And I think it's so interesting because they were both outstanding dancers coming in. Nastia and Rumor both sort of let go of whatever it was and had that freedom. We saw that last night with Nastia's dance again. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, I was like, yes, this is what you want. You want that freedom and that, like, I'm just enjoying it. Mm -hmm. You're not being judged. It's also easier. This is true. <laughs> it's so much easier. Uh, it's so much easier sitting on the couch saying, look, at why didn't you do that before? Right. <laughs> Come on. And then we move into the freestyles, which I was like, I'm waiting. I'm so excited. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, it kind of felt like that. People watching right now, like half of half of them maybe agree with you, and then half are like, "What, Kristen?" <laughs> well, I think a lot of people. It felt, it, you know what? Because I, and I, I think some of it because last week felt so amazing. Yeah, that this week felt a little bit like a balloon starting to deflate a and little we were bit. we're missing a fourth couple. We're missing a fourth couple. I, and I think, like, you know, you've got Nastia. I felt like her presence was, was missing. I felt mm -hmm. Willow's presence was even missing in this, even though we said goodbye to her, you know, Definitely. a few weeks ago. Um, but I just feel like it, there was just a little spark that was missing there. Yeah, I would have preferred to have seen Nastia and Derek in the finals as well and had less of, you know, these extra filler numbers here and there. Personally, I think that that was a mistake. I agree. Um, because what they would have brought to the table, you know, and then it would have kept us... In, like tuned in because then you could have got rid of one, you know, earlier on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, I agree. I definitely agree with yeah, that. I, for I, sure. It is one of those things. And even if Nastia was going to wind up in fourth, why not just have Give her, her be the fourth opportunity to, to do it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just, and then when I saw her do the, the subway number again, I was like, oh, I wish you were here. It does seem a bit unfair because out of any celebrity that has done the show, they've not had a season like she has. Do you know what I mean? In terms of the, the whole drama that's gone on just off the dance floor so you would have thought that they would have just like you know kept it as it was but you know you live in your land right whatever never mind <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever that's what I feel it's the last show whatever okay um I, I think um it, I think it was great that they brought back Nastia to do that dance we, we mentioned a little bit earlier but that fun one yeah, yeah. I could have seen a couple of different ones from her, but yeah, that that was which, yeah, one, which other know. one would you have liked to have seen? One of her finale routines, mm. like her, not finale, semi final, semi final routines. Yeah. Felt like a finale routine, I yeah, don't yeah. But it was high energy and fun, and you know, I think that was an uh, that was an interesting choice that was you know wasn't done unintentionally because um, if she'd have done one of her passos or you know any of those routines that we know she can do. Mm -hmm. That was just her and Derek. I think they would have been uproar. People would have been like, oh, my God, you know, in comparison, um, why is she not? So I think there was a bit mm. of a perhaps. I mean, I could have seen that Len Derek number again. Yeah. Yeah. I could have seen that again. Just but, class dancing. Was, yeah. That, I mean, that, that whole concept, though, of that number with Sasha and Derek and her. And Amazing. It's, cool. a, it's a finale number. Like, it feels oh, yeah. big oh, and epic. Yeah. So... Sia, um, Derek, Julianne, yes. there's two kids. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, wasn't it? So good. So good. And, you know, it's one of those that you just sit there and you look and, like, the timing. And I, I was watching the kids and watching, you know, Derek and Julianne. No one was out of count, yeah. out of step. Yeah. It I was in, in the sync. pocket, too. It's, you know what I mean? Uh, like, they're really sitting in that. And. Yep. It was it was just so amazing, and see her being there too. Like I love the way that back. she is with the hair and everything, and, and just boobs. It was boobs in a lampshade, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> She's hilarious, but so creative. Um, just amazing to witness Julianne really dancing. You know, um, it was great. Really the, loved it, and those kids. Yes, Ooh. the kids in person. Where I was sitting, you know, I, it was hard to see Derek and Julianne, um, and so the kids. First of all, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" With these two, well, this is insane. Like, who are you, kids? Like, wow. Um, and and then you know, watching on TV today, I got to see the whole thing and just Jesus. I mean, what a special, special, special number and yeah. whole event and. Julianne and her blog breaks down what it was about, and Derek originally thought the song was about, you know, um, romantic love, and she's like, well, it's about family love, and then when they were throwing things around, it wasn't about anger, it was just about being playful and kid-like and stuff, so it was cool on her blog if you guys want to check it out. And uh, to Sandra Chavez is the one that choreographed that. I don't yeah. think a lot of people realize that. No. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, it was really amazing, so... Um, 
Like everyone was like, who choreographed that? I'm like, Desantre did. I don't think, I think a lot of people, I mean, I'm sure they collaborated with both Julianne and mm -hmm. Derek, but yeah. they were looking to do that number or something to that song on their tour anyway. Yes, so. and Sia asked Derek to perform Isn't on the amazing? show. Yeah. Wow. It's cool. <laughs> That's incredible. Sure. Yeah, right. So if incredible. You must. If you must. <laughs> Let me think about yes. it. That was one of my favorite favorite parts of the show last night. It was yeah. it was beautiful to watch, and uh, their tour started rehearsing today. So no rest. No, no rest. Yeah. No rest for the very very busy. <laughs> right. Um, we saw Amy Purdy come back um, and oh, do a little. Lovely. Yeah, that was that really was, sweet. That was a cool thing too. I was happy to see that little. I was song. too. Amy Purdy's been one of my favorite contestants ever. So I just was like, Yay, yeah, she's back. Yeah, it was uh, good. Um, how choice. did how did bad lip reading? Did you guys get to see that in studio? That was hilarious. Yes. Jules and I were dying. Were you not paying attention? You were probably yapping away in front of me. What is this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know, where they, they did on All Access a couple times. Uh, once with Nasi and Derek sitting down and, the, you know, they, like we're talking right now, they would uh, the oh, dub yeah, it with yeah. something else. Uh -huh. <laughs> were you it's laughing? Funny. I was so dying. Funny. And if anyone hasn't seen it, it's up on YouTube on the on ABC's Dancing with the Stars page. But um, it's, awesome. it's awesome. You have to come back. Like, because it has it's to like, come back. I mean, weird words. They had like platypus come out of Aaron's mouth. And you're like, platypus? <laughs> oh, you know, oh, or yeah. I pooped. <laughs> I'm one of the all accesses. I don't know if it's online or not, but Derek and Mark were with her, and they. She has this thing where she always goes with her lips, and so they were making you know like a noise, and then one time it was like a uh, like a fly was buzzing around. And she was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that one's online, or maybe you have to go back maybe. into the archives and take oh a look. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was that was great. They they need to bring that back. That's so funny. <laughs> I think also, um, you know, last week I was at the panel at, at Paley Fest, and and you know, I it's, watched online. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, and people have you know seen it and everything else, but I, I, it was interesting. Just we talked a little bit about this. So, you know, I asked Rob Wade about that that package with Nastia and showing it three times over two weeks, and you know, he does have a job as a producer to make money, create buzz, create ratings. That that is his job, mm -hmm. and so you know, doing the whole like I'm tired or whatever, her frustrated package, um, showing it once, I was like, I get it because he's he's out there to make good TV, but he basically didn't didn't give me a straight answer on why it was shown three times, because I feel like after you start doing it, at a certain point, you're going to cut into someone voting for you, because they're going to be like, well, she's acting like a brat. I'm yeah. going to throw my votes this way this week. And I'm not talking about the hardcore voters that like know who they're, they're rooting for and everything else. I'm talking about the average person that's watching at home. Sure. And um, he just said she brought it, her game too late. It's Which a lot of people on the panel agreed with. And I agree. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I agree that she brought her game. She, she had her breakthrough too late in the season. I think the freedom came a little bit later. But I'm going to say, yeah. if I was on the panel and I'm employed by Rob Wade and by ABC, I'm going to be nodding my head, too, well, because yes. he's signing my checks. You know what I mean? Yes. I'm like, of course I agree with you. Um, but at the same time, did it need to be shown three times? No. And mm -hmm. I, I no. to the end, you know, I... I wish that I was able to sort of debate him because I really want to be like, but but, what yeah. were you doing? Because I don't think it really was fair. And it's rumor one based on her talent and everything else. But because there's so much highly produced stuff going on behind the scenes, it spoils it sometimes. And it frustrates me because it's like, well, we're going to give it to Val because Val's owed it. Or, you know what? It's rumor season. And it's rumors mirror ball trophy. And I'm like, she's great out there. So just let her do her and like, you know what yes. I mean? Yes, yes. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Um, because I didn't, like, I have not followed gymnastics, you know, that much throughout my life. So I, yeah, just so <laughs> I didn't know who Nasty was prior to this competition starting up. And when I saw that footage of her talking about how she fell on the trials and, oh, trials you know, and her career was over and her career was over and everything that she's been through you know she's not the kind of person that kind of you know on her first package was like hi and this happened to me and da 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 da, -da. but you know it was like why did we not know stuff like that about her until then it was like I didn't get to know her until it was too late that's what I felt like and was that information already out there? And I'm not talking about, like, I knew it had happened. Sir, I knew it had happened. Because we both follow gymnastics. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but had sorry. ABC already taped it, and she's talked about it, but they withhold it until... There's a, until they're ready. Until they're ready. We don't know. I, I'm throwing just I'm throwing sure. theories out, seeing what sticks. Sure. <laughs> but or or did she withhold that information herself? I don't know. I mean, the story is out there. I interviewed her early in the season, and she talked directly about it in my article. So without <laughs> a combination about of that the being two. a defining moment, a yeah. defining moment. Right. I mean, and she actually. 
talked about it at length. It wasn't like a two sentence response. It was probably a, a solid 10 minute answer that I had to edit as much as I could to fit into the <laughs> article. But I, I'm saying it's not something that she keeps all that close to the best, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of interesting that it took Yeah, that and, and I'm time. speaking as someone that, that knew about it follows, you know, I follow beyond the Olympic cycle. So Yeah, because mm. you're a gym fan. I'm like, a gym right? fan. So, mm-hmm. you know. Well, I, that, I will say, in not in his defense, because I, I can't. I, it's, when he was talking about, you know, that he, you know, it's something's being compelling television, compelling reality TV. That clip of her and everything, it is when it, mm-hmm. in the context of producing a reality television And his job television as a producer show. is to give compelling television. So I can't right. fault him for showing it once. Yeah. I know you have a problem with the three times. <laughs> three. Big problem. Yeah. It does mm-hmm. change. It changes because nobody knows Nastia unless you really follow her. Right. So. Exactly. And they had a lot going on this season. There was plenty yeah, of stuff. Did. And, you know, Noah had a package that where he was frustrated, too. It happens. Like, you it's get frustrated. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to everyone. And they're picking and choosing, you know, hours of footage and stuff like that. But we didn't see it, like, three, four times, you know, with Noah. Yeah. So it's just... Ugh. Derek and uh, our Mark was saying yesterday that it's the first time since season nine that either Derek or Mark, none, neither one of them was in a final. Kind of amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 